with Stan Barty, Canada's most respected mining entrepreneur. If there's one guy in Canada who does more deals or who has taken more companies public, there's nobody like Stan Barty. Stan Barty, what is the prediction for the next three months and what, what's happening in the, in the mining space? Well, first of all, thank you. I'm certainly not the top guy. Many guys like me have been around. But, but nobody's done more you, deals. You no, know, we've done a lot in the junior sector. Okay. But, but let me tell you something. Gold is on fire. It's almost $3,000 an ounce. All the metals are doing well. Uranium. The next three months, get ready for this. Precious metals and uranium. They are booming. They're hitting all-time highs, guys. Any stock you touch, I would buy stocks in the mid-tier gold sector. Not the top ones, the mid-tier. You know, stocks like Alamos of the world, those kind of stocks are really gonna do well. In uranium, obviously, there's so many very good junior companies. They've had a great run, great sector. And don't forget, when we talk gold, we also always think of precious metals, silver, platinum, palladium. They will all rise with the tides and it'll be followed shortly by base metals. Unfortunately, I think the EV trade is dead for a while. It was overrated, but the base metals, consumption, world is going to 10 billion people from seven. So food, security, all that stuff will grow. Agriculture will be very big. Uh, fertilizers will be very big. Over the next three months, I'd focus on precious metals and nuclear energy. Stalin, I love to hear that. I, I, you just said, the stocks to buy you know you've always got such funny things to say and please i'm not sure what he's going to say now what is one of your favorite quotes of all time my favorite quote of all time yeah the one that you love which one? Oh no you can't <laughs> tell that one <laughs> <laughs> give me give no. me one on finance or something. You know, there's a lot of uh, young people who are thinking about careers and their success. Give me something that's about, uh, you know, uh, entrepreneurship. And... I think I've said it before, right, guys, that really the opportunities in finance are great, but you got to grind it out. You got to work for four or five years in, in a in a junior uh, space, but the opportunities are great and they will continue to grow. Again, because the world's got to 10 billion people. Money drives everything. Having said that, I think there's a massive shift coming to manufacturing back to the US, uh, you know, especially if Trump wins. There's a massive shift coming because the old model, China will produce everything, will import, will be a service industry, that's gone. So countries are focusing back on fundamentals. So get ready for that. I like that. It wasn't a quote, but you know what? I read the other day, and I, I don't think I'm smart, but I think if I was going to pick something safe, I'd buy TD because I think they priced that uh, that price TV. into. You know how they got the beating with the three million dollar right down, billion dollar. Ab, ab, I, I think Listen. it's down like fifteen percent. I'd buy some TD if I was just like just want to be a safe always kind of buy, person. Always buy stocks that the market is trying to destroy with good fundamentals. TD is a great example. Right? Every day the globe has something negative to say about it. That's the time to buy, right? I, listen, I don't think TD did anything that. I mean, you know, you, they, they did a, such a successful job in the U.S. Uh, I don't know the details, but it's very difficult to tell what really happened. Yeah. But TD well, sounds just like get, some middle managers. They get it beaten yeah. for no reason. Yeah. Well, have so, a great uh, day. Thank uh, yeah. you for thank you for your lunch today, Stan. This was very impromptu. I'm not paying for the lunch. Uh oh, uh oh. Normally has a drink there. <laughs>